are in rainy, rainy Seattle. This is tour day one. We got some coffee, we got some orange wine, and hello, Seattle. Yeah, Bus time. Bus time. Yeah. The bus's name is Bus Bussy Lou. Bussy Lou. Bussy Lou. B U S S Y L O O. Like Gracie Lou Freebush, but Bussy Lou. My first impression of Bussy Lou is she's been through a lot, but she's sturdy. I can feel the energy. I've been in energy. She's been through a lot of tours. She has. I can feel it. <laughs> but she's but strong she's never, and she has heart. We love she's, a well seasoned <laughs> Bussy Lou. Yeah. She's <laughs> never met anyone who will treat her nicer than us. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. It's true. There's a yeah. balcony. That balcony's huge. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. And it's at capacity. Yeah, the bottom part feels very similar. Dude. Yeah. And then he like literally went have so much there. <laughs> Hello? That's so crazy. Oh, it's night one, night one. Night one. Girl? I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud that we made it through that terrible time. We're back finally on stage right where we belong. So, so proud of you guys for the work you put in um, to be here and to you know these parts and trust yourself on stage. You know exactly what you're doing. You've rehearsed it a hundred times. Trust your body. Trust your muscle memory. And just fucking have fun. Nothing fucking matters. <laughs> <laughs> She was in a band with a couple of girls, and I was like, cool, a band of all girls, that's really cool. And we just started jamming together, and it was so fun, and just felt right, and we played a junior high talent show together, and haven't not played a show together since. I think there's something really special about getting to play with people you've known for a long time, let alone since you were 12 years old. Our relationship together, the four of us, is, is a very special special bond that I think would be hard to recreate with anyone else. Today we are in Portland and we're in the Wonder Ballroom. Show number two, last night we played Seattle, so stoked to be here and it's gonna be a good night. Salvage denim. Salvage denim. Not, salvage. I don't know. Salvaged? Salvage? Salvage. Salvage. Salvage denim, you see this? Worn in. Nice and worn in. Exactly where my phone the wall. and my wallet's gonna go. It's been really surreal to be back touring and venues and playing shows and just like around people. It's just so, so nice to finally be doing it. And like last night when we finished the show in Seattle, we like all got off and just like felt so emotional and just felt so crazy. Like we didn't realize how much we needed to play shows. Keep it weird. Okay. One, two, three. Keep it weird. Yeah, they keep telling me just what to do. What to do. they can do whatever it is they want to do no matter what it is and no matter who you are and um, just feel this like safe community vibe um, and and have fun honestly I feel like that's one of the biggest things we want people to do is come to our shows and have an amazing time 
Hello San Francisco! We are here today playing August Hall. It is, I hear, sold out. So thank you for that. Um, we're super excited to play San Francisco. It's one of our absolute favorite places to play in the world. So I think tonight's gonna go crazy. I'm waiting three long years for this moment. So I don't want to mess it up. And I wanted to be sure that I was first. So was I walking around making sure no one else was here before I changed? Absolutely. Um, did I get VIP tickets? Absolutely. Cause like to me, they're like huge people. They're like Ariana level to me or like Michael Jackson level to me. Might not be to everybody, but to me it is. So will I shed a tear tonight? Most likely, probably, um, but I'm just really excited. What do you guys wanna play? Should we do Don't Freak? trick that I like to do, especially if my voice is like struggling a little bit, um, is I'll jump rope close to set. I think I started doing it because I heard that Mick Jagger jogs on a treadmill for like 45 minutes before every show he does. I also have to be hydrated for my voice to sound as good as I want it to. And then jump rope. So we're jump roping for like 10, 15 minutes and then I'm gonna eat some food and I'm gonna get ready for San Francisco. I was never nervous before COVID, but I'm not nervous for every show. Nerd alert! <laughs> <laughs> no, you tell the camera what you mean. I'm gonna do it What? I, I don't get nervous ever, so... And this is the favorite part of your job. <laughs> yeah, this is the favorite part of my job. Yeah. live show has just always been what's come first and I think what's always been our number one passion as a band. I think there's just something different and special about when we get to play a live show together and, and be on stage and definitely feels like home. If we were supposed to do anything, it was to be on stage together. Coming back and getting to play a live show since taking a break with COVID, it's just reminded me so much of what I really love about being a musician and that is performing and being on stage and connecting to people in the audience that uh, you can tell just have really connected to your music and and uh, feeling that energy in the room but that you just can't recreate anywhere else. It's so special and is definitely my absolute favorite part of what we get to do as a band. We just played San Francisco last night. It was absolutely insane. One of the funnest shows I've ever played in my whole life. We are now in beautiful San Diego, North Park. As you can see, getting ready to play the observatory tonight and it's been a great day so far. Tonight we're playing San Diego, which is also usually a pretty great show. Yes. So we're excited. We're very excited and San Diego. Bring it, we need you to be best show Bring it, yeah. baby. Two, one, hold it here. Two more. One, one more. Two. Well done, everyone. We were really young, and I think that, like, you know, Katie wasn't out yet, and Kenna's not here, Elise and I were out, but it felt like we weren't sure how to, like, represent all of us. Like, we just went to the studio to write the second record, and there was like, at first, like, there was no conversation. We just wrote songs like Kelly and songs like, you know, that like, we were just writing about things we were going through. And then we kind of like stopped and went, oh yeah, like, I guess this is like really outwardly gay. On the second record, it was just obvious to us that like there was no, there was no alternative or we were gonna be like lying by omission. <laughs> What's this new emotion that I'm feeling when I'm from you? What's this new illusion sleep? I can't stop thinking about you. Never felt this with you before. We were friends, now I want more. Would you take it wrong if I? 
to to feel like you have to hide a big part of yourself to, to be accepted. And when I came out, I can I can honestly say like I, I've never been happier. And every day I'm still learning to grow and love myself and accept myself. And it's not just this thing that happens overnight. It takes time to to get there. But it's a really special thing when you get to to start to own who you are and um, really just be yourself. And I love that we can share that with our fans and, and help create this really safe environment for everyone. We are playing the Fonda in Los Angeles tonight. Uh, sold out, which is a really huge deal for our band. Um, because I just remember like growing up, uh, we just would like dream like playing shows outside of like Little Orem, Utah was like larger than life to us and uh, as a kid I used to like send out emails to like little hole in the wall venues in LA to be like hey we're the Blue Aces and like we would love to play your venue and we weren't worth any tickets and we were like just in like in junior high and high school and but that was like every that was, was like such a big goal and such a dream. Um, it's a big night. I've seen a lot of my favorite artists perform here, so to be on this stage and selling it out it just feels like a huge milestone and I'm really excited and I'm really proud of us. All right, right. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I won't. I, it's gonna, I'm going to have to do that. I'm just taking the top off. It's not that. It's like, not too carbonated yet. You're making me scared. For the eyes. You got it, right? Are you doing video? Yeah, go this way. Go this way. Right. Go. Go. Sold out Fonda. Hold sold out Fonda. We're doing West Side Story tonight. We're doing Greece tonight. Aesthetic is. Is yeah. Aesthetic is <laughs> Pony Boy. Cheers, my girls! Cheers, my girls. Cheers. tickets in Los Angeles now uh, is crazy like you know there's fans out front lined up and stuff so it's like a really big milestone for us and I'm just like really grateful today that's like my main emotion is excitement and gratitude and uh, just trying to like sit in in the accomplishment that is you know playing the Fonda sold out in Los Angeles <laughs>